And we are back for part 5 of Let's Play Phantasmagoria. Final part for today. For me, let's explore this library. This reporter attended Carnot's Phantasmagoria show in London's Egyptian theater last night and found it horrific, spine-tangling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, Carnot's shows are not for the faint of heart, as they feature occult images, the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations, of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Those of you up to thrills and chills won't want to miss this. Prognostications of evil? The devil made me do it? This guy had some strange taste. Worship of animals? Secrets of the dead? A nice book collection. Um, is there something more over here? Nope. A secret room. Let's try the fire poker. Damn, it's not working. Another letter. 
Dear Jeremiah, it has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a unique book while traveling through Egypt this most recent winter. It is my understanding that this tome contains powerful information regarding ancient rituals of sorcery and magic. I relish the thought of reading it. As you know, I am sometimes frustrated by the fact that I cannot really control the world around me. That my so-called magic is merely nothing more than illusions. Next month, I will be giving a show in Paris. Will you be in town then? If so, I would like to set up a meeting during which I could examine your fascinating acquisition. If the book is really authentic, I would be more than willing to pay a hefty sum for its purchase. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Zoltan. So Sultan is the magician, the guy who owned this castle or house. Is there something more in here? Sorry. Hmm. What's this thing? Let's try it. Nice work. It's a chapel of some kind.
Now that's a big book. Oh, wow. This must be Carno's family tree. So Carno is the guy living here, or was the guy living here, and Sultan must be his stage name, and he's performing magic. Wow, look at this. This must be Carno's family tree. Okay. Oh, I guess not. So Sultan is his name, Sultan and Karno. He didn't know when he died, and he had five wives and one child who lived to only be two years old, and they don't know when three of the wives died. Oh look, Leonora, uh, that's the name we found on the painting up upstairs, and uh, Hortensia must be, you know, the letter H on the apron we found. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's open this mysterious box. with that lamp? Hey, hey. Oh, it's very funny. I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, suddenly the damn lamp crashed down on top of my head. I, uh, I just finished tightening the screws. Oh. I'm fine, Adrian. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go upstairs, get cleaned up, put on some new clothes. Done for the day. How about some dinner? What would you like? I'm not really very hungry. Maybe some tuna or a salad or something. Then let's call it a night. That sounds good. I'm kind of tired. See you downstairs in about 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. All right, we finished the first chapter. Nice work. And uh, in the next part, I will begin on chapter two. So stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.